Hey everyone, I'm Fabian and normally my channel is in German only, but I have here a world new product and I saw that nobody on YouTube made a video about it. And so I thought I will also make a short English video uh, about the Withings Beam O. So <laughs> if you can speak German or if you, uh, um, yeah, just want to get a little bit more information. Uh, I have a in-deep German review which will be far longer but uh, yeah, for all the English speaker I want that you also see a first impression of the new Withings BMO. Just for your interest I bought it by myself so uh, no interaction with Withings. Um, they didn't send it to me. I had to pay everything by myself. So what we have here is this small little device. So we can measure different things. We can measure our temperature. I have to take up a little bit my, my base cap. Um, so here I can measure my, my temperature, my body temperature. Um, and we can um, measure our heartbeat. So I can put my fingers on these two things here. And um, the third thing that I can do is that I can measure my heartbeat and my, um, uh, my, lung, my lungs. So I can put the down part here and uh, I can also measure the um, oxygen in my, in my blood. So um, this is also possible when I put my finger up here. At first we can choose the user, so I have uh, my name and the name of my wife and I can choose my name. Um, and we see that I can do the uh, heartbeat measuring and the uh, blood oxygen. I can see the um, temperature, I can measure the blood, blood oxygen by myself uh, only without the um, heartbeat measuring. And I can choose a, a stethoscope. Uh, so I can measure my, my, my heart uh, and can hear my heart beat and uh, my lung beat. So these are the only functions that I have here. In comparison, um, we can measure uh, the temperat temperature with the classical thermoscan that we have here from, from Braun, which is, I would say, one of the uh, best tools uh, to, to measure the temperature, the body uh, core temperature. Um, and we have here the Apple Watch, the Garmin Forerunner, and the Whoop. So on the Whoop, we can measure, um, let's get out my, my app. We can measure uh, for sure the heartbeat uh, live, uh, and every other values on Whoop are not live. So we have the blood oxygen, uh, so we have a trend. We have um, the skin temperature, but this is only the skin temperature, not the body temperature. Um, so these are the things that I can measure with my, uh, with my Whoop, so not so much. Uh, then we have the, the Garmin Forerunner uh, 965, which is not the top model, so um, other ones can, can measure more. So, so on the Garmin uh, Forerunner, I'm not able to make an ECG. This is not possible with this device. Um, I think with uh, more expensive versions, it's possible. Um, but I can uh, measure the um, blood oxygen, I can measure for sure my, um, my, my heartbeat uh, and I forgot anything, I would say, yeah, that's, that's all. But uh, I can measure some of the stuff and in, in, in uh, addition with uh, the thermoscan, and in addition with the thermoscan, I can do nearly everything. And last but not least, we have the Apple Watch and here we can do the ECG. Um, and we can also see the blood oxygen, but not live. So on Garmin, I can do the health check and I can see after two minutes my blood oxygen um, and I can see uh, my, my heart rate in the last two minutes. So. Uh, this I can see live, but on the Apple Watch I can't see the uh, blood oxygen. Um, yeah, and I can also do the ECG, which is really cool. So in uh, addition with so the Apple Watch together with uh, this device, uh, we can measure 
everything, but we can't do the stethoscope. So um, we will start with the easiest one, with the temperature. So you put it here, wait some seconds, and we have uh, 60, uh, 30, and we have 36.8 degrees. And to do a little comparison, Yeah, correct. Hmm. I have to choose that I am not a baby. It's a little bit less. We, ha we have 36.7. So when I did the review for the um, German page, uh, for the German video, I would say um, if you do two or three rounds, you are uh, in, in the end on the same page. So it's not always exactly the same, but this is also with this device, if I measure on the right and on the left side, I have some difference, and if I measure two or three times, it's a little bit different uh, difference, but I would say in the end, if you measure with this one two or three times, you have a good value. Uh, then we have the um, ECG, and we will do it now. So uh, you put it up here, and you, are not allowed to push too hard or too soft and you have to wait 30 seconds. And now I can see my heartbeat, which is around 73 to 75 and my blood oxygen is uh, 97, so just, this is totally fine. And after waiting a few seconds, he hopefully says that my heart is also fine. Yeah, my rhythm is also fine. So um, this is a test. It's really easy. It's also really easy to use for older people. And in the end, I see uh, the result. Yeah. And you can do it only for, for the blood oxygen. So then you'd only need to touch uh, the right side and it's only 15 seconds. Um, but then you can do both together. And the last one is the uh, stethoscope. So you can choose between your heart and your lung. And if you order now, it's, it's not a marketing call to action, order now and then you get this and that and everything. It's just a true fact. If you order it now, it's, I would say the first week of ordering it, you get these, <laughs> it's just normal headphones, but you get them um, and you have these, um, you get this little pinnable here to uh, get from USB-C to, what is the English word? In Germany it's Klinke. I don't know the English word. Uh, and you can connect it. And I put it in my ear. And you can really hear your heart. This, this is a little bit a feeling of awe. Um, and you have you, you need to, or you can put it on different markers, which are shown here. Um, and if you say, okay, we put it on the right, I would say it's a little bit hard to, to define where you really need to put it, but I would say it's somewhere between here and the first one is somewhere here. And I choose it. And then you put it here. I took the wrong side, sorry. <laughs> So now he um, recorded it, my, my, he just recorded the sound. It doesn't say that I need to be naked, uh, but I would say I would prefer if I send this data to someone, to a doctor, I would be naked to um, yeah, have it 100% correct because I have the feeling like if I, if I breath, I move my t-shirt and then I hear like a double beat of my heart. Maybe I have a problem with my heart, but I just think it's it's a wrong measurement because if I if I hold my breath, I don't hear the sound. Uh, yeah, and um, this is nearly everything. And in the app, um, you only see this data. You don't have more data. So I thought when I do the stethoscope that 
I get some kind of analysis, some AI stuff or so, or that it says to me, yeah, um, it sounds normal, but I get nothing. So it's just in the with Inks, with Things app, which is cool because I have the, um, the scale, the body scale, and I have the uh, blood pressure device. So with Things knows a lot about me. Um, so I can have then also my body temperature, I have my heartbeat there, um, and um, it says that my heart is okay. Um, but this is all, and the cost of the device is 250 euros. And I'm still asking myself, um, also in German, but also in English speaking, why do I need this device? Because it's 250 euros, and I have mostly everything in other devices. So um, I have my normal temperature measuring device, which is also available for the whole family. And I, for myself, I have the Garmin, my wife has the Apple Watch. I'm not able to do the ECG. Uh, I would say for people that have a problem with the heart, it's, it's cool to have it. And I also miss it a little bit that sometimes that you have a feeling like, oh, is everything okay to me, with me? I can do the check. And now I can do it with this device. And for me, it feels a little bit more correctly from, but it's just a feeling that this is more correct than the Apple Watch, I don't know, uh, maybe not. Um, but the only pro point or purpose for this device is you can share it with the whole family, you can choose your user and then you have it all in the app with, with things. But uh, at the moment I would say I could spend my 250 euros better for other stuff um, and I'm still asking myself why I bought it. Um, If you have any question, please comment here because in a few weeks I want to do another video um, because this is just the introduction. Uh, I put it out, I tested it live here. It's uh, maybe I missed some information, maybe I get more information. Maybe you have a lot of questions and in a few weeks I will do another video and I hope that not every English YouTuber uh, has so many videos outside and that you, uh, yeah, also like the German sporty guy. Um, have a nice day.